Some people might think that they can handle stress and never burn out, but this can happen to anybody. If you keep pushing yourself, even when you're feeling tired due to the pressure of your work, you could completely exhaust yourself both mentally and physically. Today, I want to share with you some of the ways how I handled stress when I worked as a tier one SOC analyst, and I still continue to follow these to this day. Keep in mind, I am aware that different people deal with stress differently, meaning that these tips won't work for everybody. However, they could still offer some insight and ideas, and you yourself will know best on how to tailor these to suit your needs. Tip number one, set boundaries. One of the great things and worst thing in cybersecurity is that you can work anywhere. You can work while you're at work or home or at a coffee shop or even at an airport. But do remember to stay safe and understand the risks. I love being able to work remotely, but because we do work from home, it is hard to disengage ourselves from our work environment during off hours. You start feeling that you have to respond to every team's message whenever it comes up or every email that is sent your way. But the reality is that's simply not true unless you're in incident response and it's a Friday. But if you're not in a role that is required to be on call for emergencies, you do not have to work during your off hours. You want to make sure you establish boundaries from your work and personal life. The way I do this is that I have a dedicated office environment. Now I do keep all of my office activity and equipment there, but if you don't happen to have that, you can try and set a space in a room that is dedicated just for that. Do try to avoid constantly checking your work emails or messages. Otherwise, you'll start having dreams about them. <laughs> Tip number two, hobbies. If you have a hobby, do it. If you don't, do it. <laughs> If you don't, no stress. I do recommend you do try and find something that you enjoy on the off time that it's not related to your work. For example, I love to exercise and while I do that, it keeps my mind off work. But if you're not into exercising, I know people who like to paint, draw, anything again that is not related to cybersecurity. The idea here is to take time for yourself and do something you enjoy. Now, if cybersecurity labs, for example, is something you enjoy, by all means, go for it. I can't stress this enough though, just make sure you do take the time to disengage and do something for yourself every now and then. Tip number three, talk with others. Take the time to talk with others because sometimes talking just makes everything better. It could also be a good idea to talk to your manager or supervisor on how you feel. And if they are a human being, they should understand because it is likely that they have gone through the same thing as well. If you're not comfortable talking to people at your own company, you can always reach out to other cybersecurity professionals and talk about it. The last thing I want to share with you is tip number four, continuous learning. Now, this might seem a little counterintuitive, but let me explain. I mentioned earlier that you shouldn't be doing something that is related to your job, but there should be an asterisk there, meaning not necessarily true. One of the reasons that you might be stressed from your job is that you might not understand how to do a certain thing. For example, when I first started, I got stressed out whenever a new alert popped into my queue. So the more you know and are comfortable with can help you feel more satisfied and alleviate that stress in your role. To become better at your role, especially as a SOC tier one analyst, you wanna make sure you attend conferences, do a lot of trainings, read a lot of books and material because this will provide you with tips and tricks on how you can advance in your career. A bonus tip, sleep. And I'm being serious, make sure that you have quality sleep because that can make a big difference. The main point here is to remember, take time for yourself, do something you enjoy, get some quality sleep and treat yourself. You deserve it. That is it for the video and I hope you found it informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to.